Episode 1, Planning and Design. In this video, I will be explaining how I came up with my design. First, let us look at some early prototypes as I explored what I wanted in a game table. My first design looked at a hexagonal table with a custom post. I really didn't like this design. It didn't seem to work very well. My second design was a more traditional table with corner posts, but more of an oval shape. I liked this design better, but I still don't like the corner posts. This is my actual dining space with a 3x5 table sitting in it. This is where the new table will reside. I want my new table to fit here. I knew I wanted a pedestal table and not a four corner post table because there's nothing worse than being the odd player, game player, stuck on the corner of the table and having to contend with the table leg. So I really want a pedestal table so there are no corner legs for a player to have to contend with. I purchased a four foot diameter used oak table from a friend. This table already has a pedestal and some structure with it. This is where I will start my project. If you want to build a similar table, it's easy to find unfinished four foot oak tables online. Just search for pedestal dining table. You will find all sorts of them. Since I bought a used table, I need to refinish it. To refinish it, I need to take it apart and sand it all down. These pictures document how it went together originally, so I don't have to figure out how to reassemble it. Notice the column is hollow, and this is where the bolts for the legs attach. I have decided not to use the original table slides, as they are poor quality. Instead, I have purchased a pair of aluminum equalizer table slides. These are much nicer. You can find these at woodworkersupply.com, or use whatever slide works for you. I have placed the slides inside the tabletop to get a feel for how big they are and what I need structure-wise to support them. I also have a monitor ready to go. This allows me to record my monitor dimensions because I need the monitor to fit inside the table. So shh, this is a sneak peek ahead. But here we see the monitor fitting inside the pocket that I created for it. This is what we want to achieve. So now let us look at the 3D design I created inside a blender to flesh out how the table will work. The original unmodified table with its leaf is five and a half feet long by four feet wide. The table height is 30 inches. We now take the tabletop off so we can see what is underneath. We don't need the original center supports, so we will remove those. I'll save the wood for another project. The original table slides are poor quality and too short. We will remove those as well. The original support plate is too small for our monitor, so we need to remove it and replace it later. Here we see the original unmodified base of the table. I want to rotate the legs of the table by 45 degrees so they align with the long and short axis of the table. This allows me to replace two of the legs for legs that are six inches longer. This will help support the table when it's extended to seven feet. Now the original column is too tall. I want my final table height to still be about 30 to 31 inches. This means I need to cut about three inches off the column height. Here we have the new modified base of the table. To this, we will add the larger support plate. The support plate will support our monitor.
let us put a digital box in place to represent our monitor. This will allow you to see how the structure builds up around the monitor to contain it. We will place the back support rail first. This is aligned with the long axis direction of the table. Next we see cross supports coming into place. These bridge between the two rails. And then we see the front support rail. Naturally, this completes the box around the monitor and forms the support structure for the tabletop. The aluminum equalizer table slides are added to the rails. These will allow the tabletop to be moved and expanded easily. Two half circles of half inch thick plywood are added. These are the surfaces for the felt and they will sit underneath the table leaf. I will make a new table leaf that is only 12 inches wide. This leaf will help form the minimum length to which the table can be contracted. Together with two half circle tabletop pieces, this forms an oval table 5 feet long and 4 feet wide. Now let us expand the table to 7 feet and take out the small leaf. We put a piece of half inch plywood in place with a cutout for the monitor. This is the surface for the felt around the monitor. The centers of the two half circle leaves can be removed. We will discuss this more in episode 2. Now we add the table surfaces to our monitor leaf, completing the leaf. And when we close up the table again, we have our full 7 foot long game table with built in monitor and game surfaces. Now let us remove the monitor leaf and look at a third configuration of this table. First, we add an 18 inch wide piece of plywood again for our felt surface. Then we add our modified 18 inch wide leaf to the table on top of this. In the final build, the plywood and leaf are connected. I just have them separated here for illustration purposes. Then we close up the table. Similar to the other two leaves, the center of this 18 inch wide leaf can be removed. This forms the third configuration of the table, with a table length of 5.5 feet and an interior felt game surface. We can replace all the centers and just have the table as an ordinary table also. Now we will take the 18 inch leaf out and replace it with the 12 inch leaf. I will make three 12 inch leaves so the table can also be used as a dining table at its full 7 foot length. Let us briefly compare the unmodified and modified appearance of the table. They look nearly the same. 
Lastly, we see all three primary configurations of the table illustrated here together. Coming up in episode two, we will begin preparing the table and some additional wood to build out the new table. Here are some quick credits. as well as some links if you would like to see more of my artwork. And as always, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.